weightlifting. And Mercy Obiero has been the poster child for female weightlifting in Kenya. It therefore comes as no surprise that her actual child and grandchild are now firmly rooted in the sport. Our very own Mugami Wambora spent time with a weightlifting family and brings us this report. In 2017, Kenya's female weightlifting prodigy, Mercy Obiero, was at the top of her game and on top of the world. She had taken part in an astounding four Commonwealth Games and four All-Africa Games, bringing home three bronze medals in the 2015 edition of the All-Africa Games in the Democratic Republic of Congo, not forgetting her crowning achievement. When I went for um, Olympics, that's the biggest competition ever, 2012, I was just so happy to go for the Olympics, to be recognized, to be chosen to go and represent the country as the first lady weightlifter ever. But at the start of 2018, Mercy was faced with the toughest moment of her career. 2018, I also bombed out and I could not go for the Commonwealth Games. So I sat back, like I took a whole year home. I just, I was so down. I didn't know what to do. I was feeling like I'm giving up in everything in weights. Even though she was down, she most certainly wasn't out. But I came back, started training. I was motivated to do the strongest woman competition because I wanted to show people that I'm actually the strongest and I could do this. Visiting Mercy at home, it is clear that her traits of resilience and of passion have been passed down to her kin. Her daughter Natasha Okoth is making waves of her own in the sport. We had a competition in Uganda. That's when I won a silver medal. Yeah, so that was the best moment for me. Natasha's daughter and Mercy's granddaughter Chanel Okoth has also joined the weightlifting fraternity. When she finds that you're training, that's when she comes into it. She says, Pia Mimi Nataka Kui no weight. Yeah, she wants to lift it. She cries if you don't give her, the, give her the weight to do. At just 12 years old, Chanel is laser focused and has one goal on her mind. I liked weightlifting because about the Olympics part. Yeah, I, want, I wanted to go to Olympics. Chanel eager as ever to share her knowledge and skill. This is the clean and jerk. Okay. Thank you. So I spent most of the morning trying to learn how to weightlift with Chanel as my coach. And I have to tell you, it's not easy. Right now, I have no weights on mine. She has 20 on hers. And what I've learned about weightlifting, trying it out myself, it's not just about lifting the weight. It's also about the technique. For Mercy, the accolades might be great, but nothing beats the pride of seeing your own following in your footsteps. I'm really motivating them because when they see me, they, they get motivated and they want to get to where I am. Yeah. So I also feel happy when I train them. With Mercy ready to defend her strongest woman title, Natasha keen to qualify for the Tokyo 2021 Olympics, and Chanel gearing up to represent Kenya in next year's Youth Commonwealth Games and All Africa Games, the opportunities for the Obiero family are endless. Mukami Wombora for Citizen TV.